Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your midweek Wednesday video. I'm talking to my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Nose. So if Virgo falls in there, I am talking to you. Yes, 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 yes. And if you pull your full birth chart, don't forget to watch your Moon, Rising, Venus, watch the videos and those signs as well because it made those videos may also answer some other questions that you may have so be very or pay attention pay close attention right yes 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 let's get into it let's get into it somebody is going to be exposed mm -mm 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 -mm. something is going to be exposed and exposure is not always a bad thing it's not always a bad thing helps everybody if something needs to be exposed you know something in an Aquarius Gemini or Libra could be exposed it could even be exposed in you like a secret in you can be exposed right so here we have the seven of swords we also have the three of cups we also have the knight of pentacles we also have the queen of swords we can also have we have the queen of cups and we have the Emperor card. Yes, like I said before, exposure is not a bad thing. Some things need to be exposed within you, like the gifts that you have, your intuition, right? That which is in you, that's God in us, intuition. I'm talking to all of my intelligent, analytical, honest, reliable perfectionists who are loyal, kind, hardworking, practical. You all are the I analyze sign. The reason why I set up my readings by pointing out your highlights, which you look like at your highest frequency, and of course you can add to that yourself personally, is because I never know as a reader what people are going through. So sometimes you need to remember just how powerful you really, really, really are, right? That's why I set up my readings this way part of the reason why I started my readings this way. I see a lot of you all really listening to your intuition, now paying attention to it even more so before, and taking those rose-colored glasses off when it comes to pre certain people, especially people that you've allowed to get really, really close to you. It could be family members, friends, or whatever, because some people is like, well, you know, they're family, and I just kind of put them on ice for a little while, and then whatever. Somebody is starting to kind of really awaken to even the dark side of people. Like, you, you may think, okay, I feel bad for thinking the worst about a person. But th that, those, that intuition, that thought didn't just come popping out of the sky. That is the other side of you that's saying, that's your, that's your lower self saying, yeah, I mean, are they capable of harming me? Yeah, they could be capable of harming me. A lot of people get thrown off, and uh, let me just let you know right now it's a trigger warning. I'm about to talk about family relationships, so if, if, you, if you get triggered by, and I don't know what people's trauma have been, but I'm trying to give a trigger warning in advance. That's why I got to slow it down a little bit because the way that the information comes to me is so fast that sometimes I'm just saying it, saying it, saying it, and I don't want to offend anybody. So if you're going through some real rough times with your family right now and you don't feel like, okay, I can handle this, I'm telling you ahead of time, it's a trigger warning. Somebody is awakening to the gifts in them. So I'm going to have to pause just in case somebody wants to just go ahead and shut down or log off or whatever for right now. So I'll just pause for a second, give you a minute. You've always been headed in this direction, Virgo, of being a person who puts their emotions to the side and really look at a pattern of behavior. I need to, I need to slow walk this for somebody. You, you have always been headed in this direction of taking action, of just severing ties with certain energies, right? And learning how to vet every single spirit that comes across your path. That's people, places, and things, right? Every, everything is energy. You're vetting every energy coming across your path, right? What somebody's going to realize is that somebody that was close to them or could be still close to you. Y'all remember the story of Cain and Abel in the Bible? Don't you think that one brother was shocked by how dark he could go in his mind of even considering killing his brother before he actually took that action. 
imagine the shock of being on the receiving end of your own sibling, somebody who you would never even think to do something to you, or your own adult child, or your own, okay, so let's bring it modern day. You all are very hardworking people. The energy of money is very, very, very attracted to you, right? I see you having a very compassionate heart, right? Very compassionate. The fact that you all are in a posture of gratitude, you've learned to be in a posture of gratitude and not complain and worry about and be critical because who are you criticizing? You're criticizing the God in you. You're criticizing God in other people. But you had to grow to this point because some of your family members have absolutely, they may not have killed you, but they killed your vision. They killed that spark in you. They killed that belief that, hey, I got an intuition inside of me that's telling me whether I should make this move or make that move, but and, and not even seeing the energy around you. So Virgos, as we get closer and closer to the full moon, I want you to always remember full moon energy fully illuminates your path. The moon is aligned to our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions, and intuition, right? You know that by now if you've been tuned into my channel. If not and you're new, welcome. So we are coming up on the first quarter moon in Cancer. So you're going to be feeling a lot of things. Cancer is the I feel sign. You're going to be feeling a lot of things that's going to make you question if you made the right decision about some things. If your question is, did I make the right decision to cut certain um, energies off? The answer is yes. The energy may not be that you cut a person off. It could be the emotion attached. Like, I don't care about that anymore. You're going to have to, before I show you any emotion, this right here is water. Before I give you a drop of my water, you're going to have to show me. I'm going to have to put you through a vetting process as if I don't even know you. I could tell y'all about a funny story that I had with families uh, recently, if y'all want to hear it. Okay, if you don't, you can just skip past this part. <laughs> so, with my family, my own family, my own family got the same blood running through our veins we recently had a, um, a graduation where one of my younger uh, family members got their PhD in psychology or whatever which is great right congratulations to that family member they know who they are had a great time so of course I was invited to the celebration because you know I love to have fun 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 so um I kept my purse with me the entire time. Y'all ever seen people dance with their purse, holding onto their purse at a family function where you're supposed to trust everybody? But somebody asked, why, why are you holding onto your purse while you're on the dance floor? Because I don't know what energies y'all absorbed <laughs> from the last time I saw you to this time. You walk at the house, boom, you're absorbing energies. You don't know who's touching you and who's what kind of spirit is on them. So I shared that with you all. Um, just in, in a little transparency to let you know that whereas one person may see that as paranoia, if you have been, if you know the, if you know, if you have seen a pattern of behavior in your own family and you relax without making people, without protecting yourself, taking precaution to protect yourself and something happens again, where you leave a situation and you feel confused and you don't know what all these dark energies and stuff are. You're like, I don't know who I picked up a dark energy from. I don't know what. You've had what I'm saying to you as earth signs. You all have had enough situations with family and people that you've allowed to get close to you to know who is who. So that you're not taking things out on complete strangers, people that you don't know, the people that you haven't even had a year in with. You're taking things out on them because because you don't know who to trust at this point. So you're making you've made the right decision. I'm seeing somebody cut off their emotions, not necessarily the person. Right. I see you cutting off your emotions attached. So if they want to be in a, have a certain level of access to you, they're going to have to prove it. They're going to have to show a pattern of behavior, the polar opposite of what they've shown you in the past. In other words, somebody took your kindness for weakness. Shame on them. Shame on them, 
right? But you learned your lesson because you've always been headed towards this direction. You all are very hardworking people, but the thing that's been blocking some people's money is the fact is that emotional piece, right? Not creating very healthy boundaries, trying to keep, continue going with the flow like water, trying to just go with the flow. Now I see somebody in a posture of gratitude, like really just being grateful for being able to create those very healthy boundaries and saying out of their mouth, God, thank you. Seriously, just thank you. I, I, I didn't see what was happening, but I see it now, right? Yes. Yes, so that you can, so you can see this coming your way. The money. Yeah. Somebody has been working as hard as a horse and not seeing the money. You know, the money that you know you deserve. Somebody, I see somebody in a leadership position, whether you're a leader of your own company or your own brand or a leadership position at work. So when these energies, you're going to have to put those emotions to the side. And your intuition is, I'm telling you, every single night as the moon grows, it illuminates more and more and more, Virgos, the, those feelings are going to come out even more. Because again, it's going to be the first quarter moon in Cancer as we continue and it's going to grow. It's going to be waxing more and more and more. And so those, those intuition is going to be extremely heightened. Go with your feelings. Here we have two of cups. This first speaks to duality. This is where you're going to focus on nurturing yourself. We got the two, three, and queen of cups up here. This is a lot of emotions, creativity, but your intuition is going to be extremely heightened. I cannot reiterate this enough. Get near a body of water, whether it's uh, you know in your bathtub, a shower. Be in a posture of gratitude. Also do things to nurture yourself. What is it that you love to do that just makes you smile, that makes you happy? It's all about you during this time. Spoil yourselves during this time. We have the first quarter moon on the 9th of this month before we get to that full moon. So just know if you start feeling like, why, why do I have all these feelings or these, these dreams about stuff? And like, I just can't, why, why can't I shake this energy? No one, you made the right decision by cutting off some emotions because you're training people. I know what that sounds like for some people. Like, no, you're not training a dog. You have to train, just like you're training up a child in the way that they will go so they won't depart from it. You're training up adults around you to let them know, I'm not going to just jump through hoops because you want me to just jump through hoops because um, you're trying to make me prove to you that you can trust me. That goes both ways. That's what I'm seeing here in the cards. That's what I'm, what's coming down in the cards. Yeah. So I do see somebody spending some time um, nurturing themselves. I am still, I am silent. I am alive and well. That's right, you certainly are. Meditation exposes your brain to a less active state and through repeated exposure, your brain adapts to that stillness and silence. Yes, all right, Virgos, I see you out here setting firm boundaries, training people in the way that they will be able to exist in your space, right? You know, like you invite people to your house, your spiritual house and your physical house. If you say take your shoes off at the door and they don't take, they don't want to take their shoes off, they won't gain access, right? That's what this is right here. You're going to have to abide by my rules. I make the decision. This is my life. I'm putting my emotions to the side. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're my child, my adult child, my parent, my whomever. This is my house. If I want you to take my, your shoes off in my house, then you're going to have to take your shoes off. Because if I see you scraping up my floors, <laughs> if I see you scraping up my floors or bringing dust and dirt into my house, it's going to be a problem. Somebody's going to take that literally, but I, hopefully you understand what I mean in the spirit realm by that. But yeah, connect with your womb. I can't reiterate this, right? I cannot reiterate this because somebody's in a very fertile um, mindset right now. Somebody's feeling very... Um, somebody's feeling very uh, maternal. I'm talking to men and women. You all are very, this is, somebody's feeling very nurturing right now. And so you want to nurture yourself, not other people and their manipulative behavior. Because you'll be able to pick up on somebody lying. You'll be able to pick up on somebody trying to gaslight you and play a game. You'll be able to pick up on it just like that. And it may be disappointing that they're even trying to insult your intelligence, Virgo. But let them make a fool of themselves, not you. 
right? Nurture yourself, even if you have to shut it down for a while, but put your emotions to the side and listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you about a situation? Because you didn't make the wrong decision. So don't let people come to you sappy and, well, you know, we're family and we're the only ones we got. Okay, well, you made that decision to try to gaslight me. I didn't gaslight you. You tried to gaslight me, so you live with it. Okay, we don't have time for that. So, yes. Let's um, pull one last. Let's pull this Moonology card and keep it moving, Virgos. I love it, love it, love it. So, yes. You all are learning how to train people so that they can exist in your space and so that everybody understands, hey, when you step into Virgo's, when you step into Virgo's universe, this is how I need you to conduct yourself. <laughs> Not like some wild animal in a jungle. <laughs> I want to believe you was raised better than that, right? Right, Virgo's? Yes. I need you to conduct yourself in my, you step into my universe. If I give you an invitation into my universe, first of all, this person is right here sitting on their throne and they're even, they're even giving you a, a, even a smidgen of their time. Use it wisely. It's like the elevator pitch. You run into that person and you really, you got something to say to them and you sitting there like, uh, 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 ding, the elevator door is open and you didn't say anything. Right? So anyway. Be bold and make the first move. I'm telling you, Cardinal, Cardinal, this is people taking the initiative. I'm telling you, 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 may, you take that initiative. Like, listen to your higher self. And taking the initiative means I'm putting my emotions to the side because th this is masculine energy. So I'm taking action. I'm putting my emotions to the side and I'm dealing with fact. I have, a, I have a history of behavior here. And before I give you access to me, and that's any level of access, you're going to have to now prove to me because you gave me the scissors or the sword in this case to cut you off. You did it to yourself, right? Virgos, this is what you're saying to them. You did it to yourself. So now you're going to have to prove to me. And this is not on some manipulative. You're not going to be manipulating them. You're just letting them know I'm, I'm not budging. I'm standing firm. I'm standing firm, right? So in the meantime, like I said, I do see somebody in a leadership position. I do see somebody pursuing their passion, being very, very happy, nurturing yourself. This on the surface looks like two different people, right? But it's actually your divine masculine to your divine feminine. This is really about duality. You're doing things to nurture you. You're finally putting yourself first, creating those healthy boundaries so that you're not sitting around being critical of everybody around you being judgmental, being fussy and overthinking everything. You're not being slow to move. You're not questioning everything because you set it in stone. You said, I said what I said and I'm standing on it. I'm standing by it and I'm standing in it. I'm standing in my power. Yes. And watch people, watch people eventually recognize who you are. The queen sitting on the throne and I'm talking to men and women Virgos right now. This could be king or queen sitting on your throne and before you enter my universe, you're going to have to, here's a list of rules. You all are very, very analytical. So I know y'all got a list of rules of people being in your world. And it's, again, stand, standing by that and enforcing it. So that's what I have for you, Virgos. This has, again, is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. We took the website down so you can have direct access to my calendar. So that way you get directly to my calendar. You can see pricing, availability, and all of that. That is what I have for you. Have a great day. I know you will because that's the intention you set, Virgos. Bye.